the drive-through COVID testing at Rite Aid. Uh, my appointment is at 2.45, so you have to make an appointment at, what does it say, riteaid.com and um, send an appointment. So here I am. It says to come 15 minutes early and I came five minutes early. So that's okay. There's someone in front of me and I'm guessing it's through the pharmacy section since it's just a drive through and then there is a sign there. So let's see what I have to do. Um, it did say to bring your um, work ID. So I have that and then the ID and then the email that comes that they send to us. Um, and then I'll see how it goes. So this will actually be my third COVID test, but my first drive-through. I'm excited to see how this goes. Because they look pretty far, the window and their window to our window. There's a car in front of me. And it doesn't look like they're getting a testing. And I have no symptoms. Um, and that's what I put on the screening. But as we know, people can be asymptomatic. I'm still waiting and I've noticed that there's a line next to me and it's McDonald's. They're popping. They be popping like Starbucks. Always a line. There's a line for the COVID testing too. Car it's been over five minutes. Um, it looks like they're wrapping up, so we should be up next. It's not like I like stuff being stuck in my nose. It's just, it's here and I've gone to work a few times and I have my protective gear, but since the testing is free and it's available, then I should do it. My work would not give it to me because um, I don't have any symptoms. So they're only giving it to folks who have symptoms. And if we encounter COVID patients and you know we don't know who's around us that has um, COVID, we might as well get tested every now and then, right? My thoughts at least. Okay, we're putting it into gear. It's 2.50. Hi. I'm here for the COVID testing. My appointment's at 2.45. Thank you. She said one moment. It's hard to understand people because we all have to wear our masks now. Hey, what's the last thing? I was showing them my my ID through the window, like just like that. And the first thing was Come on. And the date of birth? And then email account? Two to seven days? Yeah. Okay. Can you switch off your Indian? My it's loud, huh? Yeah, the speaker gets louder because I have to give you instruction how to do it. Oh, so I have to do it myself? What? I have to do it myself? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me take my seatbelt off for this. <laughs> I said, let me take my seatbelt out for this. <laughs> but now I don't have the AC. Uh, that's fine. It will be quick, don't worry. Is it the nasal one? Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm nervous because we have to do it ourselves. How far do I go in? because I was breathing through my mouth and um, I was trying not to stress about it. I really need to blow my nose right now and I don't really have a tissue. 
Um, but 15 seconds seemed pretty long. And uh, I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be doing it myself. Like, I didn't know how far back I would need to go. And I actually did feel it towards the back. And I guess he was watching too. So he was watching and guiding me through the whole thing. And, um, yeah. Okay, now I drive. Toodles, noodles. Stay safe. On the fifth day, this email came in saying that there's a delay. But right on the seventh day, my results came in and it's not detected. So that was very cool. The email was very easy. You just had to input your birthday and voila.